Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at how to download older versions of the Creative Cloud applications. Now, firstly, you can't do this through Creative Cloud Desktop. Secondly, why would you want to do it? Well, some features have been removed from Photoshop and other applications in the suite. I'm thinking particularly in Photoshop, 3D is going. I'm thinking that the lightning filter is going from Photoshop. So if you want to be able to get access to those tools, you're going to need older versions of Photoshop. And if you previously removed them from your computer, then it would appear from the Creative Cloud desktop that you're out of luck. If I click here on these three little dots here and go to other versions, for me, the only versions that are available are 23 and 22. I can work on 20 because I already have it installed, but I can't download anything other than the 22 or the 23 versions. Now that hasn't been the case until recently. Adobe is removing those applications from the Creative Cloud. And you're gonna see the same thing happen with Illustrator and other apps. So if you need older versions of the software for whatever reason, you're going to need to have a solution other than the Creative Cloud Desktop. So here's my solution, and you need to move pretty fast. So I'm going to give you this website, it's Pro Design Tools, and they have a set of links to direct downloads for the Adobe Suite applications. Now, Adobe made those available for people who were not able to, for example, install an application via Creative Cloud. So they just put them up so that they would be accessible. The problem is that these two could disappear, and so you want to move pretty fast. What I suggest is that if you've got spare disk space, if you've got an external drive or something, go and start downloading the applications that you think that you might want to use in future, even though they're old applications, so that you have the installations available for them. You don't have to install them right now, you just need to download them. So what you're gonna do is go down and have a look at the applications that you want to install. Now, this is a multi-page site, and so you'll be able to get access to things like 2019 and 2018. You'll click on these links to go to this page. Now, I've got the 2019 page open here. When you get there, you're just gonna scroll all the way down here, and here is a table of what's available. So these are the Creative Cloud applications, and you're going to want to download the Windows installer or the Mac installer. Now the Mac one's just a DMG file, so I have a Mac and a Windows machine, so I've downloaded both and just tucked them away so that I can use them in future. Now there's access to 2015 from that site, so you can get to the 2015 applications, so they're all available here, 2014 applications. I have closed that page, but they were available as well. So just go through these applications and work out which of them you want to download the installers for. And even if you just tuck them away for the future, they're going to be accessible to you then. I suggest you move reasonably fast. The link to this site here is on the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope this now gives you the ability to access these older versions of Photoshop, Illustrator, and other Creative Cloud applications that it looks at first glance from the Adobe Creative Cloud application that are not any longer available, but here they are. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.